if we zoom, you know, two years into the future, how do you think evals are going to be different, particularly for agents? And uh, what does that mean for brain trust? I've been doing evals since 2016, um, and uh, one of the one of the reasons I actually was excited about starting Brain Trust is from then all the way through when I was um, working at Figma, uh, very little had changed about evals, and that gives me a lot of internal conviction that eight years from now, um, evals will still be very relevant, and they'll be kind of like the, the, the core uh, driver for how people build great AI software. Um, but I do think that the uh, methodology, um, or sorry, sorry, the implementation of actually running evals has changed quite a bit, and it's going to continue to change. So from back in 2016 to now, probably the biggest difference is when you run an eval, um, the amount of effort it takes to incorporate the, what you learn from the eval into the next iteration is very little. And so I think uh, we went from you know, extremely slow updates that were very manual to very fast updates that are very manual. And I think we're gonna move towards um, even faster updates that are partially or even entirely automatic. Um, and the way that we as humans are actually going to interact with evals is going to shift from looking at a dashboard, walking away with some inference, and then you know, type, 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 clack, 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 uh, whatever, into the next version of something to test. I think it's gonna be more like, hey, we look at something, um, and maybe uh, an LLM system is uh, suggesting or contextualizing what we should change and why. And so I, I think there's going to be a really big shift, and we're very excited about that.